Hey guys, this is Test 55 Game 1. This is the Trial Teams game. It is a matching game, also known as Assignment. We know this because we're taking the six people, GLM, RSV, and assigning them to one of three teams, one, two, and three. Now, I've laid out some rules here. I'll explain all of them. There's no ordering component to this game. Although the teams are numbered one, two, three, none of them is going before or after something else. So for this reason, we're not really concerned about that. We have the opening and the final arguments. We know that M is doing it's, is M is on is on the same team as either G or V, but we don't know whether M is doing the opening or the final argument. So I've created two different renditions of the rule: one where M is on top, one where M is on bottom. They tell us that L does the opening and that one of GR does the final, but not both. Therefore, one does the final, one does an opening. Now the variables not mentioned here are M, S, and V, and because M is involved in a rule, I'm going to make two different main diagrams. One where M does the opening, one where M does the final. So when M does the opening, we know that both S and V will have to do the final because if M does the opening and we already have one of GR as well as L, we already have all three opening people taken care of. On the bottom diagram, if M does the final, then we know that S and V are split. One does the opening, one does the final, and this is our initial setup for the game. Now question number one is a typical orientation question. We're just going to take one rule at a time and apply that rule to all five choices looking for violations. Now we know that L has to do the opening, so any choice where L does the closing or the final can automatically be eliminated. So for that reason, we get rid of B, where L is definitely doing the final. We also know that M has to be with either G or V, so we can scan through the choices looking for violations of that. And in choice C, we, at, we have M going with S, not with one of G, V. So for that reason, C can be eliminated. Now, we also know that G and R have to be split, one doing the opening, one doing the final. So any choice where G and R both do the opening or both do the final can automatically be eliminated. And we see that in choice A, we have G and R both doing final arguments, neither does an opening. So for that reason, A can be eliminated. Same goes for E, where we see both G and R doing the opening, and exactly one has to do the closing, leaving D by elimination for number one. Next, number two, if G is on the same team as M, and if G is doing the final argument for the team. So this is a very roundabout way of telling us that M has to do the final. So for that reason, the top diagram is irrelevant. The bottom one is what we're going to use. G and M are both doing the final, which means that R has to do the opening. Now they're asking us what could be true. L and V on the same team, that could work. But we couldn't have V doing the opening because L always does the opening. Therefore, A is eliminated. Next, looking at B, R on the same team as S. That part seems OK. Who does the opening? Well, if R is, you know, R is already doing the opening, so we, if R is on the same team as S, we'd have to have S doing the final. For that reason, B is eliminated. Next, looking at C, R and S on the same team. That works perfectly fine. And S does the final. That's the only way R and S could be together due to the fact that R has to do the opening. Therefore, C is our answer for two. Next, number three, general. Could be true question. We'll just run through the choices here. Could G do a final argument? and be on the same team as R. Well, that might seem okay in either diagram, but let's flesh it out and see what happens. If G was doing a final and it was paired with R, that means that G would be on bottom, R would be on top. Again, G on bottom, R on top. Nothing seems wrong with that. They could be vertically together with G on bottom, R on top. No problems. Therefore, A is our answer to number three. I will look at the rest of the choices, though. G doing a final argument and on the same team as V. That would never work due to the fact that M always has to be with one of G or V. So for that reason, B is eliminated. Next, looking at C, G does an opening on the same team as L. No, L always does an opening no matter what. So if G and L were together, L would have to do the opening and G would have to do the final. So C is gone for that reason. Next, looking at D, L doing an opening on the same team as M. M is always with one of G or V, never with L. For that reason, D is gone. Then looking at E, M doing an opening on the same team as S. Again, M's always with one of G or V, never S, so E's gone as well, leaving A. Next, number four, if R and V were on the same team. So if R and V were on the same team, then therefore we'd have to have G and M together. So I'll flush that out in both diagrams. You know, they never make it really make an issue of one, two, three. Those seem to be interchangeable here, so I'll just throw things down on both of these diagrams. So R and V together, on the top diagram, that means that V's on bottom, and R is on top. In this diagram, it doesn't really seem to matter. We could have R or V, and then V or R, interchangeable. But of course, if we get rid of V, 
and we get rid of R, that means that we have to have M and G together. So I'll put M and G together here, leaving L and S together on the top diagram. On the next one, we've taken care of V and we've taken care of R. So therefore, we just have left L, M, G, S. We don't really know which way S is going or which way G is going. We do need M to be with either G or V, though. Since, so since M is not with V, it must be with G. So M's on bottom, leaving G on top. I'll cross off those guys. Now we have only L and S remaining. L's always on top. Therefore, S will have to be on bottom. So everything got pretty fleshed out here. They're asking us, for how many students do we know which level they're on? Well, L is always on top, so that's out of the running. We know S is always on bottom, so that's out of the running. M could go either way, so I'm just going to cross those guys off. We have G on top or on bottom in either one. V and R interchangeable as well. Therefore, L and S are the only two people that we know where they go. We know L does opening, S does closing. Therefore, two is our answer for number four. Next, number five, if L and R were on the same team, so right away we know this means that R is going to do the final and G is going to do the opening on either diagram, really. We don't know which one we're using yet, but this is how it plays out so far. So they're asking us, what must be true? Well, we know that R being on bottom forced G to be on top. So right away, choice E, G does an opening, must be true, and is our answer number five. We simply looked for what was immediately impacted by that question step. Next, number six, if S does an opening. So right away, the top diagram is irrelevant due to the fact that in that di diagram, S always does final. On the bottom diagram, we're going to put S in the opening, which automatically forces V to be on the final. Now they're asking us which pairing of students could be on the same team as each other. So we know that since M could not be with V in this case, M must go with G. So therefore, R, G is going to be on opening and R is going to be on final. So we know S and, no, S and V don't have to be together, but M and G do have to be together and then it's either L, V, S, R, or L, R, S, V. Either way, we don't know for certain. So GM, I scanned through for that. GM is not a choice, but any choice with either G or M can automatically be eliminated due to the fact that G and M have to go together. So right away, A is eliminated, B is eliminated, and D is eliminated due to the fact that those do not mention G and M together, but rather place G and M with different people. So we know that L, R could work, or L, V could work, and L, R is not a choice, but LV is, therefore, sees our answer. They could have also told us, you know, SR or SV. They don't do either of those, though, of course. They did LV, which we know is possible, so sees our answer for six.